Hello, my name is Reza May Gavar. I'm going to be your student nurse today. Your name is Erica Gavar, correct? Okay, good. So today we're going to be doing the hand washing checklist. The purpose of this checklist is to reduce the number of more microorganisms on the hands, to reduce the risk of transmission of microorganisms to clients, to reduce the risk of cross contamination to clients, among clients, to reduce the risk of transmission of infectious uh, organisms to oneself. So first I'm going to go ahead and do the assessment. I'm going to go ahead and determine if the client has had any recent diagnostic procedures or treatments that uh, penetrated the skin and any signs or symptoms that indicate any infection. So um, localized signs can be like redness, swelling, uh, pain, or palpable heat at the site, and systemic indications can be like fever, uh, lack of energy, increased pulse, or respiratory rate. So I can see that my client has none of that happening right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do my hand washing. And so for my hand washing, I already have my place so i have my sink right here and i have my hand soap i have my paper towels and the sink has my running water so now i'm gonna go ahead and start my hand washing